and welcome to the show. We are here on GTA 5 today with quite the commotion, apparently, going on. Uh, yes, it is that time again where we try a Survive the Hunt. Uh, there's already been some fires in the car park, as you can tell. Uh, this lot are going to be giving chase. Uh, they have 24 hours to try and hunt me down with... <laughs> Well, not going to be using the flying car, that's a bit cheating, but it does look like quite, oh well, party car has had a bit of an iffy moment. Uh, yes, there is going to be, they're going to have 24 hours to try and hunt me down. As you can see though, there are no names over players, there is no map, so this is all about blending in to civilian traffic for me, and uh, them trying to spot me doing something silly, basically. Uh, we will go at, sure, 1645. Let's set off then. Uh, we will, we get a two minute head start. As we rush into the city, the police are apparently not enjoying the party car as much as the rest of us were. Uh, <laughs> of course, we're not going to be staying in the Civic. While I quite like this as a new car, it's not the best thing in the world to drive, but it's fun. There's quite a lot of customization on it, uh, which is always good. Uh, we have a very, very mighty wing. It is, shall we say, distinctive. I think that's probably a very good word. Uh, it's certainly an orange, black, humongous wing, full time attack kit and everything. It's quite distinctive. Uh, there is actually not much, so the drive over here, there really is not much exciting stuff spawning uh, in terms of traffic cars. Really, we're going to be looking for like an Oracle, Buffalo. Now, in the city, there are some supercars, but of course, you don't find the supercars further out. So around these sorts of parts, driving a supercar, you stick out very, very easily. I don't really want a utility truck. I don't want anything like that uh, by virtue of, sure, they're not so likely to look at it. It does look out of place in the main part of the city. More significantly, if you ignore wherever it might look out of place, if it does get looked at, guess who can't ever get away? You know, there's no chance. Admittedly, I thought there was no chance with a Hummer, but a utility truck is even worse than a Hummer. Uh, at least I thought there was, you know, there is a tiny hope with a, uh, uh, a Hummer. Right, let's go and get into uh, some sneaky clo- No, 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 come here. Oh, for God's sake, I was trying to be clever. Should, I should have probably got the car in the sorted clothes out. Actually, you know what? Another Oracle has come along. That works for me. In fact, it's near identical. Thank you for your lovely car. Uh, it'll do for now, unless... I mean, I've given you a nicer... Well, a more interesting car. Certainly, take the Civic. It's yours. Um, well, no, it's temporarily yours. I'll give this car back when we're finished with it, okay? I can't guarantee the condition, but you can have the car back, and you can drive the Civic until then. All right? Actually, I don't know if I trust the GTA 5 AI to drive. I think the Civic will come back in worse condition than this. Anyway, I digress. Yes, we've got to survive 24 hours. Dotted around the map, however, to make things a bit more challenging for me, are some pink prees. My goal is to blow up as many of them as possible. Current record is four. I'd like to try and equal that, if not go for a, a few more. Um, when I do blow up a pre, that kind of notifies the hunters to roughly where I am. Uh, because, of course, that's a personal vehicle, it'll blow up, it'll notify them that wherever they parked it, I was there at one point fairly recently because the car's just exploded. That's the point of them. It is to make it more difficult for me just to remain incognito the entire time because if I don't, if I don't have to take any risks, it's very difficult. It is very, very difficult indeed to do a huge amount about... I say about finding me without a little bit of luck. Um, there's some weirdness going on on the motorway here. Uh, oh, that was a janky lane change. Doesn't really matter at this... Well, it doesn't really matter at this stage. As long as there's nothing around looking, doesn't matter. <laughs> that's that's what we're going to go for. Now, we will have to get off the motorway. In fact, we could... You know, we could run all the way down. Loop our way back up. So there's an apartment building uh, where we can find a pre. So I have got a map of all the pre's uh, locations. This is just a screenshot, basically, of the map with pins put in as to where the prees are located, uh, so I know where they are. Because at the end of the day, the hunters actually want me to find them. Uh, they, <laughs> they want me to find the prees because every time I blow one up, that gives them another clue. So the more prees I blow up, the more clues they get, the more dangerous it is for me, pretty much. Uh, now, if we head up here, this should work. I could go all the way down to the end on the motorway, but we can just come off of the motorway on this bit, and this should do the trick. Now, I'm hoping this should let us go the way I want it to. It does. Okay, and we are in to the city. A nice calm start, really, for this one. No sign of any hunters. A relatively safe 
route, I guess, that uh, that we took. They used, I mean, I have got to the other side of the city, which I often end up around anyway, but we took a very different route to get here. Uh, but I kind of have to. A lot of the prees are over this side of the city anyway, so we we're always going to go this way at some point. Uh, we should do a little dance. That's not particularly helpful, but never mind. Uh, there is a pre, actually, around the movie studios? Or is that on the... That's not on the motorway. Surely that can't be on the motorway. Uh, there is a pre in a very, very sneaky place. Oh, well, there's a hunter having a massive crash on its own. Bloody hell, that was a big shunt. Uh, <laughs> well, the taxi's not in great nick anymore. Hmm... I mean, if we keep following this road along, I believe, and then we take a right, we should get to a pre somewhere along here. Now, if I can blow up a pre quite early on, that's always helpful. No, surely this isn't the right road. I feel like I'm too far. Hmm. I know where I want to go, but I don't think I'm quite in the right location. At this moment in time. Uh, let's go this way. No, I'm not quite where I want to be. Uh, sorry, I'm getting a little, a, little, a little little, turned around on these roads. I know the bit that I'm supposed to be at. Let's go try and figure out where the hell that is in relation to where I am. <laughs> I thought I knew where I was. And now, now I'm less sure. Something has exploded. Quite close. That wasn't from me. What did explode? It's weird that I could hear it. That's not a... Right, let's just try. Get the windows down. There we go. Gives us a little bit of a, a, little bit of a chance. Now, if this goes where I think it does, which it should do... What has happened over there? Why is there a person just leapt across the road? Is there a carjacking? No. Right, I think I went one too far along because if I turn right down here. We're looping us, don't mind me, I'm just looping myself back to where I want to be to try and blow up a pre. It's all good. Some weirdness has gone on, something exploded. Um, could be someone abandoning... I say abandoning an aircraft, but I don't think they'd ever... I mean, they're allowed two aircraft. They've got a blimp up in the sky, as we see over there. It is uh, flying around, and I suspect they have gone for the little microlight, ultralight, whatever the thing is called. Uh, that looked like a hunter car there whizzing along at great speed. Um, now, we want to take this turn because it is along this bit that we should find a pre somewhere. Uh, now, I'm going to preemptively, because I haven't actually seen the car yet, so it's a little bit preemptive, but if we call... Oh, is it the next one along? Okay, no, I can see it over there. I'm not quite going to call them yet. I hear sirens, and I don't like that. One of the things that can quite easily give me away is if I get a wanted level. Now, how would I do that? Well, I'm driving a stolen car. And sometimes the police get bored and go after people driving a stolen car. Um, oh, for God's sake, no, don't you? You've just lost your lights. Okay, actually, new idea. So if it's just lost its lights, it means it's, it's lost the pursuit, and that's when they get bored. Uh, and hey, that's when up? the chances of oh, them going, hmm, there's a stolen car there. Let's turn a blind eye. Let's just get that done. Right, that's what's going on. There are some hunters in a police chase uh, occurring. Oh, for God's sake. I, like, literally, I don't want to be here, but I do kind of want to be here. And I want to try and get towards that pre, and I want to use this chaos to try and make the most of the opportunity. Um, to maybe try and get that way. If there is a- oh, what the hell? Why is there a police car on its side? I've got two and a half minutes to go, like, one junction. I should be- oh, but there's a hun- there's literally a hunter there swapping a car. This is so risky. This is- will not be the first time, either, that I have played risky, risky games going after that car. It's this junction, it gets me every time. That car's still on its side with the lights going. That's amazing. I absolutely love the Falrays Police Department are at their absolute worst. Now, can I, do we reckon, get the long range sticky bomb? Nope. What about an even longer range sticky bomb? Nope. Uh, we will make the turn. Holy crap, they were not paying attention. I could have blown their car up. It would have been quite funny, but 
Also, totally... Well, they might get the pre, but I will wait to make the corner before we go and find out. I've got a minute 44. Come on, traffic lights. Don't let me down. I don't actually know how far the range was on the sticky bombs, so... It was a little bit ambitious. I feel like we probably should have been able to throw that, goddammit. Uh, <laughs> we need a better throwing arm on us, it would seem. I mean, I've got no real damage. There might be a ding on the side, actually, thinking about it, from that kerfuffle with the other cars. However, we are mostly okay. Uh, whoop. There we go. That's what we needed to do. Uh, we have got the sticky bomb on the car. We've got cops turning a blind eye for a little while. Uh, right. We will blow that one up. Uh, why? I say, why, sorry, why do I blow it up like that? Yes, you can drive halfway across the city before detonating them. However, the point is that I have to be within visual range owing to, well, that, the point of the challenge, really. Uh, there is a lot of hunter cars around here that I do not like one bit. Um... Yeah, I mean, we got that. We actually got away quite quite nicely. If we hang around this part, they're going to think I've actually bolted. That's why I headed back this way. I normally wouldn't do this. Um, but they might be working on the basis that, well, I'm probably going to have gone far away. That's normally the plan. Ow. Ow. That's not good. The plan has kind of fallen apart a little bit. Just a smidge bit there. How the hell am I going to get out of this? The problem I've got now is I've got a wrecked car. We either hot swap while there is a... Oh, that's not good. Did they see me get hit? Maybe. They've seen the damaged car. The problem I've got is my car is damaged, and my car is damaged in a perfectly legitimate way, and AI cars do get damaged, but that's going to be enough to get looked at, isn't it? Yeah. That's really unfortunate. Like, there is... I had no time to even contemplate trying to change my car there. God damn it. Uh, I don't know who it was who hit us on a crossroad. I mean, I was minding my own business. I waited till the lights were green. That's all I could do, uh, <laughs> but there we have it. Uh, we are in a chase immediately. We blew up a pre. I just got horrendously unlucky. I mean, that is the downside, I guess, with not going for that. Let's just make as much distance as I possibly can. Uh, strategy. I think that would have worked. I think that could have and should have possibly worked had we not been so incredibly unlucky with the um, location of everything. Oh. I'm going to see if I can confuse it. Yep, someone's going to go... They're all going to go flying going up that hill. That was the hope. That was the plan there. Um, did they not realise I'd turned off? Surely not. I mean, I was expecting them to overshoot, but I wasn't expecting to actually have that be the manoeuvre that worked. I think the Microlight Ultralight is still following, potentially, further back. See, I'm just going to use this straight line speed. Uh, they've got no cars behind me. I can actually outrun the Ultralight in a straight line. Oh around a quarter we go, uh, and just this is covering ground now, get me as far away from where the danger was as I possibly can. Um, ah, there is still a car in, in the pursuit. Now there are, I mean, the, the danger with that, of course, is that you don't break line of sight as much, however, my concern was more with the aircraft. There is something with no lights also flying along at a, a great amount of speed behind us. Ah, there's a pre there. Uh, well, I'll bear that one in mind for future reference. There is a pre by the, uh, like, car park bit. Uh, car park? Car wash bit. There we go. Um, yeah, whatever that thing is, it's pretty rapid behind us, although I made a little bit of a goof in all of that. So, hmm. We're going to need some more clever plans. Oh, slightly ran a bit too wide there. All right, we'll go play on the grass against your muscle car. Might give us half a chance. Uh, <laughs> We'll weave through some more bits and pieces. Now, we're going to have to hope that that thing gets slightly stuck. The green lights are terrifying in the background. The green lights are more terrifying than the red lights? I don't know. Neither are good. You don't want really either of them uh, in the background, you know. You don't want either of them behind you. Uh, we're going to go play an oncoming lane. And this is dangerous. But the point is, it might make the hunter car have a crash. Might it make me have a crash? Yep. <laughs> Basically. However... That's a risk I'm going to have to take. If I'm going to lose the car, that's the sort of risk, the gamble, that I'm going to have to try and take. Uh, because 
hell, they've actually really struggled to follow. They've had a huge crash coming off of the uh, ramp there. If we can play this cleverly, they might be in trouble, you know. Uh, because they all got stuck up. What happened is I turned around, a bunch of cars shot down there following me, they all crashed into one another, and that gave them a lot of problems. Uh, now, it's the aircraft that are my bigger concern currently. I know one of them, the smoky thing, was following. That had seen me. It has still probably got visual on me. Uh, we can see the smoke trail. The smoke trail gives me a help when at night, certainly, in seeing where the damn aircraft is. Can it follow me through the buildings? Can it? I don't know. Uh, this is a bit of a risk that we're taking here. Why am I doing this? Well, it's undercover. If the aircraft... Oh, okay, well, you know what? Abandon. Abandon car. Uh, there are some, like, stairways around here, but I don't know this part of the map very well. Uh, hmm... This was all a plan to get rid of the, get rid of the aircraft, but it has backfired a little smidge on me. Uh, this thing is actually pretty sound. The line. So... Ah, oh no, there was a car over that side! Crap! It was a good idea. We have got a new car quite quickly. Uh, <laughs> I just heard the engine too late as I committed to uh, thieving a vehicle. Stevie's crashed the microlight. That is aircraft down. If an aircraft dies in a chase, that is it out of the game. I will take that. That is one less thing to worry about. They've all just shot the other direction as well, which is good news. Now, these are not slow, the Ricottos. Uh, they're not the best car in the world. The Oracle was better. However, this thing isn't too shabby. Uh, that's why I was happy to go and grab the damn car. Um, if I'd found the little... I don't know, there is a little staircase that can, like, weave around inside that building. If I'd gone up there on foot, they may have never really noticed the car because it was quite well hidden out of the way. Uh, but you don't know. I just couldn't tell if something had seen where I'd gone, if they knew well enough. And yeah, that's why we're probably a little bit better off having at least at least getting moving again. You know, we're at least got some sort of transport. We've got some sort of distance on them. Now, they may well have seen me go down here. I have... Oh, that's not... That's not good. Uh... <laughs> That's not good at all. Somehow we have escaped away. I thought that was an alleyway we could actually fit through. That's the difficulty. Unless you know every single alleyway perfectly, if you make a wrong call and it's actually a dead-end alleyway, you are really, really screwed. Uh, it turns out that little U-turn has actually been quite helpful. Oh, that's been a crash and I'm not a clever one either. My, the idea was they really not see me. No way they've not seen that. Shush, 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 shush. I don't know why me shushing it is going to help. I've got a wanted level, I don't care. Lester, buddy, I need your help, my friend. I need your help more than anything right about now. Lester, 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 where are you? I'm ignoring the lights. Lights aren't important here. How did they miss that car? What can I do for you? Oh, hey, you're in trouble. <laughs> okay, I'll deal with it. Holy crap. I mean, the idea was pretty good, but... Still. What is that car doing is probably the better question in all of this. I mean, we know that's a hunter car. We've got a normal Regina behind us doing its thing. We know there was another hunter car around somewhere as well. Um, yeah. That's a bit of a pain, really. I mean, if it's guiding everyone over here, that's annoying. Because uh, I can't really shake it. It has now actually got tangled with something else. So, with any luck... Uh, no, I don't think we're going to get away from this one, sadly. Um, that's rather annoying. Uh, well, I'm not even going to risk risk letting that happen. I don't know what I don't know what I did in that, unless somebody did happen to see some uh, mini-based shenanigans. Yeah, I don't know what 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 gives in that one. I thought we'd done a really good job, uh, but apparently not quite enough. 
That's a shame. Right, let's see what the car. Let's see what the mini's got. We're in another car now, another different car for the chase. Uh, oh, we got to try and sneak around there. Uh, see, we can use. We can maybe use the mini's agility to its advantage in some of these to try and confuse and maze on the junctions. That's the plan, at least. Possibly the aircraft, to be honest, saw us and I just couldn't keep track of it. That is one of the difficult bits that we are having to deal with at the moment, is it's dark and I can't see. The Mini does fantastic J-turns. Uh, I will give it that much. The Mini is glorious at the J-turns. And um, the nighttime, I mean, we have the sneaky... I say the small advantage. We're in a dark-coloured car. Um, oh, I was going to try to jump off, but an orange car was heading towards us, so didn't do that. There's the thing with the green lights over the other side. The thought of going for pre's is long out of my mind currently. Uh, <laughs> the thought of going for a pre is a long, long way out of my mind. Uh, can we do... Uh, can we do anything clever? I mean, it's... For, for this, oh, sporting in car not helpful. Uh, we've got to try and find a way of breaking line of sight. Uh, we're not going to outrun them anymore. The Ricotto and the Oracle had some good straight line speed. I can't outrun them in a straight, so I've got to try and weave around. But we've already seen alleyways could be dangerous. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to be mega, mega careful. Oh, god damn, that's an AI car doing something funky. Uh, whoop. I mean, they're going to possibly actually expect me to come out here uh, at the side, but it means that if a car gives chase, it has to also make that turn. It has to also make that turn at a similar sort of speed that I did, otherwise it loses some ground on us. Um, and I probably have a little bit better turning. I don't want to just go barrel up into the hills, not when I've got this many cars following me, because that's dangerous. However, it might be a way to shake them. I can't see if there's any aircraft on us. I can't see if there are any cars either. Yeah, I mean, I can't see the aircraft. Can't see cars. If I spot something to swap into, if I could do like a hot swap, uh, like, for example, into that, that is literally the ideal thing. Um, okay, there's a way, way more of them in here than I expected there to be. Uh, <laughs> right, this might be a firefight now. Um... I don't really want to be in a firefight situation. While I have firepower over them, it is a little risky. Can we smack a window out here? Um, yes. Th so they're, they're nervous because they know I have weapon advantage. I'm nervous because I know they have number advantage. Uh, what I can do here, we took out somebody as they drove past. What I can actually do is... Oh, Bumpy just, took, just crashed out of something. I think that might have been the blimp. I think Bumpy was flying the blimp today. Uh, <laughs> I think we shot Chris as he drove past in a car. Uh, so this has just been run and gun, grab a new car. Uh, maybe I could have so maybe I could have fought my way out of there. Uh, again, though, this is survival at the moment. Uh, I don't even know. Oh, I don't even know how we're doing, what we're doing here. Uh, we are <laughs> we are on the way once more. We have a lot of time to go. I think it was 16-something. It's just been a non-stop chase so far. We're like halfway through this game. And I have not been out of a chase. It's ridiculous what we've had going on here. But we're still alive. Somehow. Somehow we still live. I mean, we technically have thinned the numbers out as well. So that's something. I mean, there is a pre around here somewhere as well. We could maybe go for a... And this would be cheeky beyond belief. But we haven't actually... Well, already been blowing up many pre's. Uh, oh, uh, oh, that'll do the job. <laughs> We're here. I'm going past it. I knew I'd already clocked there was one on the map. I was planning on heading to down this area at some point anyway. And there's another one actually down there. It is actually. I thought it was further down the road, but no, it's right on the side. That's another pre down. That's two for me. If we at least get killed, we've gone out in spectacular fashion. Well, the hell, we get killed in this. It's been ridiculous so far. Um, yeah, we've got, we've still got one car, but it is only one giving chase. I just need to make a mistake. That's what we're desperate for at the moment. We need a mistake to come. Otherwise, I don't know if we can simply outrun it. Uh, it is on its own, for the most part, which does make my life easier. Um, I'm going to believe that it might, if it has struggled, it might have struggled somewhere around here. Um, so again, we're going for every little alleyway we can, every little sneaky 
bit that I can stick my car through where I'm not directly... Oh! Oh, Christ! Every time. I don't even know if... The thing is, so there, a lot of them are using oracles as well. God damn it, now the wanted level's not gone. Yeah. You see, could we have bailed out of our car and swapped into something? Possibly. The difficulty I have is that they just don't have time. There are so many cars swarming that area that... Uh, oh, now that's got me through there. I was hoping they might get stuck in the traffic jam as well. They have a little bit further back. This is a, lot of, this is a frantic, frantic chase we've got going on. Whoop. There's one of them. <laughs> Try to get across the road, we'll just slide our car at them ever so slightly. Uh, no, let's go up this way. Let's see who's got some grip in their cars. Man, how on earth am I going to lose this lot again? I can't go, we can't go through this. I can't do this for another 20 minutes. There's just no way. There is just absolutely no way I can keep this up, considering how close we've got. I thought that Hummer was aiming for us. It wasn't. It was just an AI vehicle that had just gone shooting past. Uh, we're going to try and use... So my hope with a little bit of there was the bumps might catch somebody out, carrying a bit of speed, trying to follow me. Uh, by the looks of it, it might have actually worked. Uh, they have not... They're not directly behind me. I could have dove into that car park. However, we've seen how dangerous car parks are before. It is a risk you take diving into one of them. Oh! Or dive into the movie studio is also a pretty hefty risk. I s there was a hunter car there, I just sure shoot past. Uh, oh. Did anything follow us? Yep, it did. Oh, I was trying to get in the corner. If I could have got my car in that turn, it would have been all good, but I missed the turning I wanted. And we're back into the chase again. Ah. Uh, yeah, I missed. I turned in too soon. I was going to try and stick it down anyway and hide it. But that relied on me getting the turn in right. I didn't realise where I was going to be blocked off. And we're back to, again, having problems. Oh, that's going to be a tough corner to make. It's a good idea if I can make it, because everyone overshoots that turn as well. But I've got to actually make the corner uh, for it to work. And this is also quite a heavily pedestrianised area. It's slow, which means they might have a chance to get out of their car and get on foot. Uh, whoop, there goes one of them that's now going to have to do a U-turn. There's another one that's just shot across in front there. I mean, they're trying very hard to, like, flank and so on. They're trying hard to find different alleyways and different approaches to catching my vehicle, which is kind of working for them. It's keeping them all close. They are all mostly in the chase for a lot of this. I haven't seen the air... Oh, the aircraft are all down, of course. They have got no air support. They've all crashed in giving chase here. Uh, do I try... I mean, at the moment, there's nothing even exciting to swap into... Do we try frantically and bail into a new car? Ooh! Okay, that's fine, that's fine. It's only a light ding. Uh, there's still one on us. Yeah, I mean, I just cannot... I keep losing them, but it's only for the briefest of seconds, and that's not enough. We need more time to swap a car. How many are following? Two, perhaps, at the moment? Do we go and play with some... Oh, I mean, it almost got taken out by a traffic car. Should we go and try and run up here again? Maybe. Do we... Yeah, maybe we should play around with some of these alleyways. I know there are some quite fun little alleyways around the back of these buildings if you can get your car into them. But there are some dead ends as well, which is inherently very risky. If you've balls it up, you might be in trouble. You know, I have got some gap back to... Whatever there might be. I don't want to just run to the hill again, but we are literally at that opportune moment where they are far enough back that they ain't going to see where the hell I've gone. In fact, maybe if we don't go up the hill... Well, we don't go up, but we just go along here because it's quite densely built, uh, built up area. We can run along this bit and then we can get spat out by Michael's house, maybe? Somewhere along there? Uh, if I spot a nice car, I will just dive into it. Um, oh. In fact, what if we were to just abandon ship and lay low? Now, are they likely to go and check up here? Quite possibly. I was in the area. Uh, of course, we haven't really got to worry about the aircraft, though. You can certainly hear that there is cars around. Now... My vehicle was pretty beat up, let's face it. However, we are perfectly secluded in this yard. The only way they can get in is through there. 
Do I want to have a firefight, though, here? No, not if I can help it. Firefight here would be pretty catastrophic. Um, but by, by parking there, we've at least bought ourselves a little bit of time. You know, that's what we're going for here. It's bought us a smidge. I hate that I can just hear cars, but I can't see a damn thing. Uh, can we get any sort of sight if we look? No, nah, it's all... Well, we can kind of get a little bit of sight, but... A tiny bit of road. Hmm. Now... Could I put my gun away and try and walk around? Maybe. Am I likely to want to do that? Well, I like being able to have my f my, my, my weapon ready should trouble arise. I can actually be a little bit sneaky with the camera here. I don't think they knew... I don't think they know where I went. I think I broke the line of sight well enough back that uh, they are not sure. And I could have gone a lot of different ways at this point. Okay, there's just a 9F wandering around. Um, shall we go investigate these houses? Anyone got a car I can borrow at all? What is going on over there? That car was checking everyone. Ooh. I mean, if it had come down here, I would have shot him. But you don't know. Do we reckon we can get out of this house? You just don't know whether they could... Ooh, we could. Now that I'd like the look of. Or we could fall on our face. That is also a possibility. Place your bets now. Are we going to get down the slope? Or are we going to fall on our face and lose all of our life? Actually, one thing I should probably apply. I don't even know if I have got it applied. Um, yep, we're going to apply some body armour. Now, oh, come on. You couldn't have given me a car in the car park, could you, game? No, that would been a bit too much to ask. I mean, I guess that might have been a bit too much to ask, really. We've already had one very lucky escape finding a car in the right place at the right time along here. Uh, we'll go up towards the car park over here because we can get to the road better. Uh, we're going to hug the building. I've got to hope that there's nobody looking, but you're very, very... Unless you're really specifically looking in this area, you're not going to see it from the road. So I would generally say I'm kind of quite safe. Anything over here? At the moment, no. But we're going to just head to that. There we go. Look at that. It's not a supercar, but it is a ricotto of a fairly mundane colour. Uh, that will do. Thank you very much. Game. Oh, no. Shut up. Shut up with that stupid alarm. I'm going to get busted from a bloody car alarm. I've never been busted by a car alarm in one of these before. Uh, get rid of that window. Now, the problem is I have got to try and get out of here. And while, yes, it is occasional that AI cars drive into these sort of places, it is rare. Which means if they see a car leaving, guess who's going to get searched? That would be me. Guess what that black, 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 black buffalo is? Not an AI car. Game. For God's sake, game. Uh, I don't have another choice in the matter here. That thing, if it sees me, I know I'm busted. Um, so what I'm going to do here is about the only option I have, which is run and hope that in its attempts at being minorly subtle at following me, it can't do it. I don't want to be in the hills! This is literally the last place I want to be. However, I haven't really had much of a choice in this. We're now going way too far north as well because I missed a turning. And... Oh, for God's sake. Uh, oh, wait, we can go down this one. No, no, we can't. That's a driveway. Uh, this is definitely not where I want to be going. Oh, for Christ's sake. I just don't want to be up here. The good news is we're wasting time. The bad news is I'm not anywhere near a pre. Uh, <laughs> we're wasting a whole heap of time whizzing around. Now I'm going to burn to another car. I can't be in a black Ricotto uh, anymore. Or can I? You know? Maybe we just take the Oracle. I don't know, will they search every black ricotta? They'll certainly search every black ricotta leaving the hills. Um, so I guess we take this. Um, I was hoping you weren't actually going to be bothered. Uh, I hope you're going to run away. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Uh, <laughs> more important things are afoot, my friend. Um, right, I guess I could have nicked one off the road, but this one was parked. I could abandon the ricotta in a normal, sensible place. 
and we're all back to normal. I think this is the most different cars I've ever been in in Survive the Hunt. It's just been swap after swap after swap, and some were perhaps a little risky. You know, some of the swaps were a little bit on the dangerous side, uh, and that kind of got me in trouble. A couple of decisions haven't been the best. I've been unlucky as well at times. It's just how it goes. Can't get rid of the broken glass either in this, so we might be stuck like this for a little while. That's fine. I thought I could hear something. It, it, it sounded like there was something fast going on. Uh, but if it is, it's not in this bloody train. Christ. There's definitely something whizzing around, I think, in the hills. Whatever that buffalo... Well, the buffalo will have inevitably said it saw something leaving somewhere and then lost it. So I'm going to suspect they're now extra specially searching this particular area. Now, the hills are good for losing cars, but they're very difficult to get out again. Like, once that area is being searched, this is not a fun place to leave. Um, I definitely did not want to go back here. This <laughs> just... The game has... As I say, the game, the way the events have unfolded, we are stuck up here uh, for the foreseeable future. I know. I can just sense we are going to get to just leave the hills as we run into a hunter. I can hunt, I can put money almost on that. We're going to get out of the hills and immediately crash into a hunter car. That's just the way it's going to go. Right, Prees, what was the plan? We blew up one by the apartment, we blew up one down by the canals. If we can get back to the canals before the time runs out, then that will be good. Basically. That's where we're aiming for now, I think. That might have been one. It was, it was whizzing around. I don't think it was one, though. Uh, it could have been. Oh. Okay, sure. You just you just do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the canals might be an easier way for me to head. There's one... Oh, there is one by the movie studio as well. Oh. Nah, I didn't ding it. That's fine. Oh, there's been a crash. Oh, God's sake. Come on now. I think they might be just, like, patrolling the roads out of the hills. It has actually driven off. I'm pretty sure that was a buffalo. Hard to tell, but could have been. You know what I'm actually going to do? We want... To, we, I wanted to go straight on. However, we can turn right on the red light, which means we can get out of this area as best as possible. And now we breathe. Not really a sigh of relief, because it's not much relief. I'm amazed... I'm amazed we're alive at this moment in time because we don't have too much longer to go. It feels like we've been in this video for about, well, say, to me, playing, hopefully not for you, the audience, of course. I hope this has been thoroughly exciting the entire way through. But Crisis has felt like a long game because it's just been a whole chase. There's not been a moment to pause and ponder how to explode some prees, and that is an important part of anyone's day. Uh, but especially in this game mode where we are supposed to be blowing up the damn things. Uh, I hear noisy engines again. Zion's apparently spawning uh, as well. So there are some better car options. Oracle is still a pretty good shout. Would I swap if I could? Sure. However, given our current selection of cars, uh, I was abided by the bloody stop thing and making sure I wasn't going to get run into by someone. Christ. Impatient. Impatient drivers. I mean, I also um, get impatient sometimes when we're in a dangerous situation and everything, but still. Right. Let's go and head down to... We're going to head in a nice, calm, orderly fashion down to the canals. We might go and try and stop and blow up the movie studio pre while we're at it. I did spot. There's a buffalo around the place. It's having a look at some cars. A frosty gold machine did just shoot past as well. I don't really want to be here. Thankfully, the lights have just gone green. That thing has just driven across in front of us. Um, we are not in a great place. Oh, why? I guess I bet the bloody window has given it again. That's another... Uh, I'll say that. I don't know why else that... I don't know why else this car has got looked at. Um, that is very, very annoying. And I couldn't even get the bloody window down. I guess maybe we could have swapped cars. But, uh, yeah, I think it's given us more trouble 
in this one than anything else. It's just, like, where else am I going to go in that? I, d I don't know how, where else I was really going to be going in there. It's just, oh, they've all crashed into one another again, which is quite funny. Uh, we'll whiz past the orange car. That's something. I thought I saw a pre for a second there, but no, it was just a saloon car that was uh, a lightish red. Have they even got anybody actually on me currently? Uh, they've got a couple quite a long way back. Uh, do I go... I mean, do I say just screw it, we're going to go blow up another pre, and if we get caught doing it, we get caught doing it. I'm almost half tempted. We've been in chases for so long now that it is very much a case of stuff it. Um, if, if we get caught doing this, at least we get caught blowing up a pre. So I might as well blow up a pre while I'm at it. Uh, right. Uh, whoop. Now, oh, one of them might do it. No, didn't quite work. Worth a try. Uh, I didn't want to. I should have slowed down maybe a little bit more, but uh, the drive-by sticky bombing is not the easiest thing in the world to achieve. What have we got following us? The muscle car has got back into the fray. The frosty gold machine the felon is oh, on the tail. Oh, that's not fun. That's not fun. That's me dead, basically. The only good news is at least my car is a shield. Um, yeah. I, it wouldn't roll over the right way and it just got stuck on a bonnet. Um, and there we go. We ran for so bloody long in that one. Uh, it was inevitable eventually something was going to get the better of us. Uh, I didn't think we were going to have the airtime in the way that we did to land on on that one. Um, it, on that car, I didn't think it was going to flick into the air as it managed to. Yeah. That is a little bit unlucky. Really? Uh, I'm, annoyed, I'm annoyed with that in that we ran for so long and it was a silly accident and then we just got stuck. We just got stuck being a turtle. If I'd rolled the car the other way, I think I would have got shot anyway because I'd have the roof, you know, they're going to shot through the thing and you only have a couple of seconds to try and deal with that. And yeah, there's no real good ways for that. There's no real good ways for that. I'm not sure, not to say I'm not sure what got the... Uh, Got the better of that car. We swapped so many bloody times, but uh, there we have it. We have uh, have not survived this one out. We got two pre's, which was something. Sadly, <sighs> would have liked to have been. Would have liked to have been more. Oh, I should have got the third one. I should have slowed down more for the third. Hell, if I slowed down more for the third one, maybe the traffic would have been different. Impossible to tell. There we have it. We did not survive this particular particular hunt. It was good fun, as ever. Uh, it was basically 40 minutes of a car chase with the occasional swapping to another car for another car chase. But uh, there we go. That is going to, well, kind of be it for this video. There'll be something filler in this uh, to, you know, mix up the time so nobody knows. Uh, don't know what yet, but there'll be something. Might be cats, might be outtakes. Uh, <laughs> that is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye. So, a, a little outtake for you here. Uh, now, we often when we film these, it's not necessarily the first attempt that makes for the best video, either a dull, just whole event or technical problems. Well, 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 doggy went well known that these do not always quite go to plan. It's a complicated, weird game mode that we have going on, and this one, this particular thing, was rather weird. Uh, it was very early on. Very early on in the chase, uh, oh, a, on the hunt, I'm busy minding my business. You know, driving around, as you do, not much going on, trying to find cars to blow up. At this moment in time, there are some hunter cars driving about. In fact, there is a blimp doing its searching, its investigating. You know, it's not the most comfortable of places. There's some weird lag going on as well with cars. Uh, now, I know there's a pre uh, somewhere around here that I want to try and blow up. But the issue you've got, of course, is that there are so many cars. Trying to do this subtly, trying to do this without giving yourself away immediately is rather difficult. So, I had to be on the careful side, really. I couldn't go completely mad. Um, however there was a little bit of a problem. You see, one of the hunters had a wanted level, and I think they managed to call Lester to remove it. Now, I didn't really want to be around here. This was a bit uncomfortable place. I was trying to sort of get myself in a lane where I could make a turn off and, and kind of get out of here. The problem was, I'm driving a stolen car. There's a police car that's now lost whatever it was doing, then that parked behind me at a set of lights. Now, okay, 
for this moment in time, it actually wasn't doing anything particularly badly. It was, it was just parked there. That was fine. You know, I was amazed that I wasn't getting in trouble. But that is genuinely a police car, not a hunter stolen a police car. So we're going along here, minding our own business. I'm about to try and turn off, just get away from everything as soon as I can. Literally, as I get around the corner, there goes the white level. <laughs> Why? Why? Why did it sit behind me, knowing let's say, knowing that it was a stolen car? But yes, the police do occasionally give you a wanted level if you are seen driving a stolen car. That is a part of the game. There's another one around a corner as well for me to crash into. Um, it's not helpful. It's it's not helpful in that one, and I can't get can't clear the wanted level. I got out of line of sight. I actually get pit manoeuvred, and then there happens to be a hunter car around that sees the mess that's going on. That. That is a quick way to ruin your day. Uh, <laughs> there is very, very little that I can do about that one when the police completely and utterly screw you over. If it has spotted me, I'm going to be gutted with that one. Um, I say if it has, it would just be that there wasn't. Okay, the thing that would give me away from that would be, A, if it saw me throw a sticky bomb out the window. Unlikely, in a blimp, you're quite high up. Uh, the other thing that might get you is the, um, uh, what's it called, the AIs freaking out and a player car not freaking out. Now we have got something behind us uh, that has been having a little bit of a look. Are we going to be able to play it off as an AI car? I don't know if we can. We're just going to keep going and pretending that we are an AI car. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not sure we are going to be able to do this one. If they try and block us in... <laughs> they were... That was a millisecond before I bolted. I thought that car was pulling across in front of me. I thought if that Vigoro had pulled in front of me, I would have run. Holy crap. <laughs> I've got to get out of this car. The problem is now... Okay, we've had a grey Mini with an orange stripe on the bonnet. If they see another grey mini with an orange... I know the orange stripe was always a little bit on the brave side, but... I've got to get out of this car. The problem is I need to get far further away from this quite kind of quite hot area. There's something behind there that looks a trifle suspicious as well. Um, oh, the Figaro is still around. I actually don't think that was my green light either, but... Okay, here is a plan. Here is a plan. Oh, don't get out of the car now. Now, the blimp surely wouldn't notice. Ah. Well, that's less than ideal. <laughs> that is much less than ideal. Um, in that uh, they've got out to check. I said I wanted to shoot down the blimp. <coughs> Well, screw it. Have a rocket in that direction. There we go. Blimp is gone. Blimp is down. We are on foot in a bad place. Uh, <laughs> we have done a mini objective in this game. My goal is now just going to be get out of here. Uh, I want to get out of here and I want to find a car, but I want to get out of here in as safer a way as possible. Uh, as in, in some sort of cover. Now, I say that as I'm running down towards the motorway. However, weirdly, this is probably the less less likely way they are to look by virtue of me, you know, not likely to have run onto the bloody motorway because this is absolute lunacy. Literally anyone in a car, if you stop, I will be borrowing your car. Anyone going to give me a car? Anyone going to give me a car? Please, car, out. Okay, thank you. You will do. Like, it's better than it's better than being on foot because I can get in this and we can blend in. No one is ever going to expect me to be in a bloody emperor here. Lester, buddy, I need some help right about now. I cannot be dealing with a police car. Um, remove wanted level. Just... 
Really? You removed the wanted level and immediately reapplied it. Okay, I'm in a lot of trouble now. I'm in horrendous amount of trouble because I've got a two-star wanted level and I'm driving a pissing emperor. How am I going to deal with this? Uh, no, I don't know what to do here. I've got to get off the road. There is actually a really good reason why, because if they see me, if they see a police chase going on, um, I guess maybe because I was close enough. You see, I thought I had at least a little time period of calling Lester and them letting me get away. But I don't think I do. I take it this isn't a social call. Uh, yeah. Right, oh, go away. Um, actually, no, I have a trick. I have a trick that I can use here. I've utilised this many a time back in the day. And there's a Vigoro I can nick. I can't get out of here quickly, but... I can't get out of here cleanly, but there is a little skill that I can use here. Um, who knew my many years of doing the versus the police would come in handy? Yeah, the trick was to go up here. I actually got rid of the cops long before then. Uh, do we go on foot? They're not going to know where I am. I'd be amazed if they did, quite frankly, um, from that.